I love weapons. There's no doubt about it. On this channel even, uh, I've previously restored a pop gun and I've made an Egyptian Kopesh and I've made tons of other stuff. I just haven't done videos on it. So now I'm going to do a video. So this and this one, I'm going to make a spear. Now, as it says, I want to make one about two meters long because then it's not really a spear because like the Egyptians had their throwing spear javelin things, but they were only a meter. But like a real spear has to be taller than a person. So I'm going to go standard two meters and I've measured some of my handles and they're all about 30 mil diameter, which is like a comfortable size to hold. It's not too fat and it's not too skinny because if you do too skinny, it's just going to snap. So 30 mil is what I'm going to go for. But only suckers buy things, so I'm going to make my own shaft. Now, I, shafts are usually very difficult to make, especially in long lengths, trying to get it straight and all. But this doesn't matter how straight it is or how round it is, it just has to be comfortable to hold. So I have a big chunk of wood, and let's chop her up. Now, I've never made a spear before, but I previously have made this uh, spring steel spear head. And it is very nice, I love it. I was intending to make a spear for it, but for this one, I'm just gonna go for a wooden head because it has more girth, because this is just too thin. So this is my piece of wood. It is very nice and long, it's two point something meters, but it doesn't really matter, I just want something tall, so that'll do. And it's like 32 mil thick and nice and straight. So I'm gonna plane it down, get a nice edge on either side, uh, then rip it down and then round over the edges with the rider. Now it's bad practice to put dirty wood in your planer because it's going to dull the blades. So all you need is a wire brush where half the wires are gone and get rid of the dirt. It's all set up now, just need to start planing. Might not be mahogany, but it still looks pretty good. And for under 200 pound, this beast works well. I've planed down the wood, but there's still a few fuzzies, so now I'm going to sand it down. On a complete random side note, I got a toaster. With it all silky smooth, now I just need to rip it down on the table saw. So I have two bits ready, this one's the straightest of the two, and it's pretty straight, but it's kind of like square, you know, so I'm going to round over the edges. And I'm going to do that with this bad boy. It's a router. So I've got a 14mm radius round over bit, which should be perfect for 29mm stock. It would appear that writing makes a bit of a mess. I suppose yes, I could use dust collection, but no. So I've made a few revisions, and this is the size and shape of spearhead I want to go for. So I've gone for the more curvy instead of literal pointy, because I think this looks better. And I have a nice wee taper at the bottom. And now how I'm going to fix this is basically a mortise and tenon joint, in that this piece will just slot into a notch here, and then I might even put a dial through to pin it. Now I've marked out the shape of the head on this bit of wood, I can cut it out with a bandsaw. It's a bit 
chunky, so I'm going to thin it out with this book shave. I have the head all shinied and smoothened up and ordinarily to cut a bridle joint I would just use a tenon saw but when the stock is like two meters tall you can't really cut a bridle joint so I'm going to use the bandsaw. So we've got the fit looking pretty good and it's straight and straight I suppose. Now I just need to sit round over the edges a bit to give it a bit of a taper and I can stick it in. With those bits made nice and thin to taper onto the end I can now sand everything very very smooth. That's it, structurally and smoothly all done. Now I just need to emigrate to a warmer climate so the glue can set. I have the head all glued up, but if cold is bad, then heat is good for glue, right? I think that should be nice and warm. And there we go, all done. Now, I think I'm a pretty tall guy, I'm 6'1", 6'2", but this blue is 2.1 meters and this funny enough is the second spear I've made the first one was 2.2 meters and I got sold it already and this one is going to the same person again but it is wonderful nice and strong straight very long can be used for throwing joisting and just about everything a spear would be used for so thanks very much for watching I'll have a video here where I made uh, Egyptian Kopesh, which is an Egyptian sword. And if you want, you can subscribe here. Could still kill someone. You know, could kill someone.